Hi guys, I hope everybody's having a terrific day. Today I want to talk to you about what fits in my bag. And the bag that I've decided to talk about is my uh, light pink Chanel small boy in the lambskin leather. I uh, purchased this bag in uh, March of this year. If you follow my channel, you will have probably seen my um, unboxing. And I was uh, I was debating whether I should get this one, whether I should get a Chanel or whether I should get a Diorama. And in the end, I ended up getting the Chanel Small Boy, which was a surprise even to me. Anyhow, um, so I've used this bag a few times. Uh, I won't say that I've used it a ton, but I have used it on a few occasions. Uh, the last one being a couple of weeks ago when my youngest son graduated from college. And I thought that it might be interesting to show you what you can put into this small boy. Because what I figured out is that actually um, you can you can pack quite a bit in here, much more than what I thought I could. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I want to go ahead and give you the measurements on the bag. Let me give me a second here, try and get you to see. So um, as far as the width of the bag, it is uh, it is. Ooh, eight inches it's eight inches um long okay and it is the height of the bag is about 4.7 inches tall and then the width of the bag and i'm going to go from here to here let's see what does that say is it, is it three inches it appears to be about three inches um, and I'll, I'll start like from here. It's almost, it's three inches. So those are the measurements on the bag. This particular uh, bag was the pre-spring 2017 collection. And I, this is probably available in the pre-love market. I'm not real sure that the stores would still have it. But here is the information. And I apologize for the lighting. I'm not sure what's going on. But here is the bag information I will go ahead and link it below okay so for purposes of figuring out what's in this bag I have a couple of items so that we can try all different things um, one of the items that I have is my Victorine wallet which I love and I have actually tried with this bag I'm also going to try a mini pochette, which I use all the time. The Zippy Coin Purse by LV, which I love. I also have a Chanel card holder that I frequently use in the bag. And last but not least, I have this really pretty leather um, leather pouch that was uh, gifted to me by uh, the, a store in Brazil called Paula Torres, where I love going there and purchasing shoes, and they were very, very uh, nice, and actually gave me this um, pouch, leather pouch, and actually personalized it with my initials, and that was very, very nice of them. I love their shoes. Okay, so we're gonna try all of those things out. So here's the bag, and she opens simply by clicking right here. She opens, oh, I have her stuff. Okay, and inside pretty much it's one compartment. There is a small slip pocket right here where you could put something, you, sh you could put a credit card, you could put, um, I don't use that pocket at all. So um, I, I just use the, the big interior pocket, okay? So um, what I wanna show you is that the Victorine wallet you can actually put it inside the bag and she fits and you do have room for other things so if you really want to take your wallet and you have something like the Victorine or something that's similar to the Victorine you can definitely put her in here now if you try and get the mini pochette in here and let's just say mini pochette I if you if you've watched me you know that I have to take my 
reading glasses everywhere I go so that I don't have to ask anybody help with the menu or anything else. So they go into this little um, little box right here. So we'll stick that into the mini pochette. I like to take my pill holder uh, where I put my etc. Cetera, et cetera. I like to take a little cleaning, cleaning cloth for my reading glasses. And I usually will put all of that in there. And if I'm not taking a cosmetic case, of course, I want to take my lipstick and I want to put it in here because I don't want to get my bag dirty and I may want to take a lip liner. So, um, so let's say that's what I'm going to put in here. And let's see if both of these are going to fit into the bag. And what you will find is that they fit, but you're, you're really going to be you're really going to be stretching out the bag. So I, I don't recommend that you put both the Victorine wallet and a mini pochette. So let's take the mini pochette out. And um, let's say I wanted to take this pouch with me and the wallet. You certainly can do that. And you still have space right here if you want to put your lipstick here on the side or you want to go ahead and put your, in, in my case, if I want to put my pill holder, all that will fit in there without an issue. Now, usually I do not carry my Victorine wallet with the small Chanel boy just because then I'm kind of restricted as to what I can put in there. Usually I'm going to carry the Chanel card holder, which of course fits without an issue. Um, let me take this out for a second and let's say I want to go ahead and put my mini pochette in there You can fit it in and She will close without an issue because this part here is open and It's kind of like where the flap goes over. There's not an issue with having that mini pochette in there at all now, I personally, I don't always put a mini pochette in there, but if you are like me and you love mini pochettes, it's great to know that you have the option that you can put that mini pochette and it'll fit. So the mini pochette and the card holder fits and you still really have room here for other things. Um, so the other thing that you can do is let's take out the mini pochette, let's take out the card holder, and let's say we want to go ahead and put our zippy coin purse in here which is another great small wallet. So this will fit without an issue into the bag. And let's try and put the mini pochette in there. And that's, now that's, that's a tight fit. And that I wouldn't do because you are gonna stretch out the bag. So let's take this out again. And so let's say you wanna take that zippy coin purse. Then I would probably use this pouch to put some things in the only issue is that okay let's see my reading glasses we're gonna go ahead and stick right here in the side and pills it's not a great fit but they're in there and this is not going to be an issue that fits without a problem and let's see about the lipstick so let's see yep there is the zippy coin purse the lipstick my reading glasses my pill holder and this other leather holder which i could put some other things if i wanted to put some additional credit cards etc and she closes without an issue so the one thing that i found about the small uh, boy bag is that you can actually fit a lot of things for it being a small bag now those of you that don't need to walk around with reading glasses obviously you can go ahead and not worry about this and you can put something else instead um, now let's see if I take all of this out and I take this out too probably my what I like the best is I like to use the mini pochette 
with the card holder because I'll go ahead and put some essential cards here. Usually if I'm gonna take this bag, it's not an everyday bag, at least not for me. It has the pink lambskin, which is delicate. And um, I, am, I am careful because I don't wanna have any color transfer on it. So it's not a bag that I'm gonna use for work. So I can use this because I'll be going out or I'll be doing something where I don't have to take every single credit card. So I'll use the card holder, which is small, and then I'll go ahead and use the mini pochette and I'll put everything else in there. Now, the only thing that really kind of presents a problem with this bag is, and I'll is show you, my key holder. I have the six key holder from Louis Vuitton and I have my car key and my office key in there. This does fit in here. However, once you put that key holder in there, it really takes up some good real estate. And at that point, this basically doesn't fit. And um, of course, a smaller wallet will fit. So for example, there you have the key holder and you have the wallet and you still have space here on the side where I can go ahead and put my reading glasses. I can go ahead and put my lipstick um, and that does fit. I can even go ahead and put the little envelope to clean my glasses. And once again, that will fit. So the six key holder will fit, but it will be taking up some real estate. What I do is, well, I try not to have to drive when I'm using this purse, but if I have to, usually what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take out my key clay and I'll go ahead and if I'm gonna take the mini pochette, I'll stick it in here. And um, that usually takes care of the situation. Anyhow, um, I hope that this um, little what I carry in my bag for this bag has been helpful. I am really enjoying it. So you can, you can use it as a shoulder bag like this. And it's very, very comfortable. Or you can... Pull the chain like this and you can use it as shoulder bag it just the drop is simply the bag will be a little bit lower on your body depending on how tall you are or you can of course use it crossbody like this and I love love the chain I love the lambskin. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I hope that this what fits in my bag was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them down below. The, like I said, I am actually surprised. I am pleasantly surprised about how much I can get into this small bag. I was um, I bought it because I just fell in love with the color and the leather and the detail of the bag and I was like uh oh I don't know what we're gonna be able to put in there but I've I've been surprised so really you have a lot of options from a mini pochette to a card holder to a pretty large wallet to a pouch so you can really really experiment with this bag and figure out based on your needs what you need to carry so I'm actually very happy and pleasantly surprised with how much I can get into this Chanel small boy um, so yeah that's what fits in the bag quite much more than what I thought would anyhow I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions down below see you next time Bye-bye.